Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're going to take a look at one of the most concentrated nanographene coatings on the market. That concentrated, they do recommend a leveling solution to be picked up along with the coating that will help make application a bit more manageable. In the kit, you get the 30 milliliter vial of the nanographene coating, warranty card directions, all the usual stuff. Sold separately is the leveling solution, application blocks, microsuede applicators. I gathered together everything we're going to need to apply this coating. Two microfibers. I recommend 32 GSM or lower. Another microfiber, uh, low GSM as well, that we're going to run under a tap and we're going to soak it, get it damp, wring it out completely. We don't want it dripping wet. We just want it damp. I also have an eyedropper, microsuede applicators, and the block is ready to go. My normal routine, shaking up that rich, viscous formula, popping the cap, Pulling out that silly drop or drip plastic insert. I have my eyedropper ready to go. I can control it a lot better. Loading up that microsuede applicator, priming it for the first couple swipes on the panel, and we're going to get to work. With a coating this concentrated, work a one by one or two by two section. Cross pattern, left to right, then up and down. Cross hatch the product, make sure it's laid down as level as you can, because it's not gonna be the easiest to remove from the panel. It's very grabby, it's very thick, viscous, very tenacious. I'm also moving the applicator a lot slower than I would most coatings where I'm trying to get done in a timely manner. Time is money at a shop. But this coating here, you wanna move the applicator slowly to get a nice even layer down on the panel. If you're gonna to move too fast, it's gonna be blotchy, it's gonna be patchy. You're not gonna have a unified coating on the panel. Okay, one of three ways. The first method is just having two microfibers. Again, a lower nap is best, especially with this coating. The first one, we're gonna use to massage the coating into the panel even further, and that will thin out a lot of the transfer solution. And then the second towel, we come in and buff to perfection. Not to scare anybody away, speaking of its tenacity and how thick it is and grabby, just slow your roll a little bit, take your time. Application's a little bit slower than other products, but in the end, if you're doing this professionally, you're gonna love the results. Okay, another method to make it easier to remove from the panel, let me first get it applied to another small section. And this time I'm gonna have that damp microfiber that we ran under the cold water. Warm water's just this fine. It doesn't have to be hot or anything. And we're gently going to rub it over the area. That will help level the solution. That will um, thin it out a little bit so you can take your other microfiber, the dry microfibers, and buff it to perfection. And yet another method, let me apply it to another small section, is breaking out the leveling solution if you choose to pick it up. This is just a less concentrated version of the coating itself and the solvents within the transfer solution will thin out, reactivate the product. So if you miss a spot, a high spot or a shadow and you go back to the panel and you find it, break out the leveling solution and you'll be able to remove that easily. I've been able to use this successfully four or five hours after the coating's been applied. It will still reactivate it and make it easy for you to remove. And I'll give you the first person view.
just to repeat this process for each panel from top to bottom, just a little section one by one or two by two section at a time. And by the time you're finished, the results, well, they'll speak for themselves. We're only a few minutes into its cure time and it is already looking fantastic. Time to jump over to the test panel. By the way, applying a coating like this, you're gonna take all measures when it comes to preparation. Wash, decontamination, clay, iron remover, all of that, and at least a one step. I would get the paint as best as you can get it, preserving as much clear coat at the same time, because once something is locked underneath this coating, it's gonna be there for quite some time. The first layer, I just used the microfibers to remove the coating. The second layer, I'm going to use the leveling solution to make it a little bit easier on myself. And I'll give you the first person view of that as well. All right, all we have to do is wait for cure time at the minimum 24 hours before it gets exposed to free flowing water. Um, 48 hours is better. When you come back a couple days later, it already feels so much smoother. One of the slickest coatings I've felt, and there's a huge difference.
When it comes to gloss, one thing I've noticed with the graphene coatings, it takes longer for that cure time to set up where gloss really starts to increase. Right off the bat, you're looking at about five to seven gloss units, but as the days go on, it just gets higher and higher and higher. Okay, these coatings uh, really help with temperature dispersion, being very conductive, just like copper uh, with electricity. The graphene coatings, the metal oxide coatings, they can disperse heat and the UV. So we'll test that the usual way, and then the extreme way here, like you would see on these silly social media adverts for some of these spray coatings. It's ridiculous. I'm also going to bring it outside and dump some real harsh chemicals on there. Then we're going to wet it, and we're going to see if any area within that test panel has failed. I want to bring you in closer. The Citral 266 I use to remove uh, fresh waxes and sealants. And you can see it actually beads the Citral 266. I've never seen anything like it. And you can also see the ridiculous test of running a torch or setting a coating on fire. It's, it's BS. It, uh, no coating will withstand that. And as we wet the area, you can see where we ran that torch across it, it has broken up and dissipated the coating as we expected. These things are not, um, you know, Dr. Strange's cape wrapped around your car. They're not impervious to scratching. They're not impervious to heat. They will help a bit to a certain extent, but you have to be realistic. So far, I'm very impressed with the coatings, the Art to Shine coatings, the graphene coatings. Uh, time will tell, though, see how durable they are. They do look fantastic, along with the capability of being uh, tenacious and durable, but I'll keep an eye on that. That will wrap up the stretch of newer uh, glam products, expensive products. We'll run a stretch of some more practical, affordable products, so stay tuned, guys. And that brings us to the final thought segment of the video, the Art to Shine's Nano Graphene Coating and also the Leveling Solution. Well, to me, it is impressive, but it needs to be noted if you're applying a coating for the first time, if you're not familiar with them, steer in a different direction, just to keep it simple. If you are comfortable with them, if you know what to expect, it's manageable enough, um, but the results, you're going to love them. I love the way it looks. It seems to be very tenacious. I can't be sure of that until some of these cars where the customers choose to apply them to come back for maintenance so I can keep an eye on that. I will be applying to one of my cars to keep an eye on it as well, so I will let you know. When it comes to the leveling solution, I believe it's really not needed. It's just a less concentrated version of the coating where the solvents can reactivate it, make it easier to spread out. However, if you are keeping an eye on the panels you're applying to and you pick up those high spots or those shadows, wring out a microfiber after running it under a cold tap or even warm water, it, either one, it's perfectly fine. Fold it into fours and gently rub it over the areas you're applying to and that will do a good enough job. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.